The Village Inn, located at 7876 Valley Road, just on Highway 321 in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, is a place that you should see for yourself. With beautifully decorated interiors, hardwood floors, and elegant rustic decor, you will achieve vacation perfection at the Village Inn. They are also pet friendly and they offer cozy places to unwind. They have back decks facing two acres of lovely green space and then the new river. They have eight different types of room to choose from, including standard queens or kings or even family suite rooms for larger families. They even have one penthouse apartment with everything you need. They have a beautiful lobby where guests are treated to a 60 inch flat screen TV large fireplace, and a wraparound deck facing the beautiful outdoor setting. Out in front of the inn, there is a pond that has fish in it, picnic tables, benches, and a bridge to walk across and just enjoy the reflections of the trees on the water. We have driven by this place for years and always talked about staying there, but we usually do not overnight when we come up to Blowing Rock due to its close proximity to our home just about 35 minutes down the mountain. We finally decided to spend a night here and we thoroughly enjoyed our visit at the Village Inn in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. Okay, so we're going to go up to our room. Now, ironically enough, did you request this? No, that's what you okay. gave us. Okay, we've got room 111. Now, there's a story to that. 111 is kind of our number, isn't it? 111 is our number because when we honeymooned in Gatlinburg at the Sleepy Bear Motel, we got room 111. And we continue to get room 111 for years, every visit. 30-some years until... Yeah. Sleepy Bear is no yeah. longer open right now, but that was our room. So that, honestly, that number has followed us through the years. Yeah, so that's our number, and ironically, here it is again. And you didn't request that. I did not. So we're going to check the room out now. So he only gave me one key. Well, we better not lose it then, And he I? said the door locks behind you, so keep key on. Okay. So just All right, so they had the light on for us. Mm -hmm. Just like Motel 6, we'll leave the light on for you. Yeah. So... I'll be honest with you, I love the way it smells in I here. It's say, just yeah, got, it's got a, like a log cabin -y It really does. It's got like a smell. Yeah, I think you described it well there. Mm -hmm. you got a little love seat right here. A mirror. It's not a huge room, but... This is what their standard queen room is. So it's queen bed. That's all we need. So it looks like got a phone, two remotes. Got a little clock here with some um, USB. And looks like two uh, regular electrical charging ports. So, got a picture of an elk here on the wall. Oh, it looks like got another little side room over here. Yes, yeah, so you got a little. Okay. So, we got a Let me back up. I'm going to get a better view of that. Uh, some more artwork. Got a little chair right here. A little table. Looks like a coffee. Well, Curry. Yeah. Microwave oven. Now, is, see if that's like a closet or what's it? Refrigerator. I'm curious. That's kind of neat how that's just like a little separate side room there. Oh, yeah. So if you need to hang your clothes, you got an, it's actually like an old entertainment center, but yeah. hey, it's nice if you're going to be staying here a while and you need to hang your clothes and put some clothes in. Yeah, got some drawers, drawers. right at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And right here, I know this is a little kind of closet area as well. And they got your lady rack, you know, ironing board, iron. And this is going to sound funny, but I like walking across that floor and hearing the wood creaking. Now, I, if you I've heard that a few well, times. Listen to, my, listen to me when I walk. Listen. Hear my shoes? I sound like I'm walking on air. But yeah, that's that's the that's your shoes, though. <laughs> but yeah, I like that sound, except for if she gets up in the middle of the night, I probably ain't going to hear it. But, so here's the bathroom. Flip that light on in there. Ooh, I love that tub. I don't know which one's the fan, but there we go. All right. So, turn it out so, so let's take a look at the bathroom here. Oh yeah, look at that old. That's an old one of those old crow's feet tubs. Like a you pedestal. Know. Well, I always heard them called crow's feet. Let me. Um, it may not be pedestal. That's what I thought. They I mean, that's probably that's probably the technical name for it. I guess. Yeah, look at those fixtures. Oh wow. Now. Okay, I started to ask. I don't want to take a bath. I'd rather take a shower. <laughs> so I see the shower head now. Okay, yeah, I started to say I don't really want to lay down in that. But uh, this is interesting. This is really old, old school, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Old time. Yeah. You know. But I mean, the bathroom looks very neat. There's the mirror and the lights. 
They've got you some, looks like body washes maybe, conditioners, body lotion, shampoo. Now let's step out back here on the uh, back porch and see what our view looks like. Uh, got a pretty good sized little back porch here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to enjoy it in the rain. I know, it's a but little creek. Little table here. Mm -hmm. Two rocking chairs, one to the right and one to the left. It's kind of private. You got a little barrier there. And out back is a little creek. Got the sliding glass doors to go back in the room. Um, so I'm going to give you my impression. We haven't slept yet, uh, but I'm going to give you my impression of it. I really like this. It's what I would call cozy, mm -hmm. quaint, maybe. Yeah, and it's got a very, very nice rustic feel to it. It really does. It's just, I mean, the smell in here, it does. It just smells like, like wood, like a cabin. Yeah. Um, and they give you these little um, brochures. They got your Wi-Fi information and all that on it. They give you a local restaurant guide, a um, calendar of events in the area, and a little map. Now... Locally, uh, they, we're actually right on Highway 321. It's actually the old 321 and 321A that goes into downtown Blowing Rock. I guess they call it business now, 321 business. Mm -hmm. But um, the four-lane 321 is actually um, it's located right off of that. There's uh, there's a Twigs restaurant next door. Mm -hmm. uh, on up, there's an Outback Steakhouse. And I'm, when I say on up, I mean just like you get in your car and ride 30 seconds. There's a barbecue place. There's a Mexican place we reviewed. I do not remember the name of it. Something... It was actually something. The Mexican Rock. Mexican Rock, yeah. We reviewed that uh, last year, maybe. It was. Um, all of that is located right here, or you can just go up one block into downtown Blowing Rock. So, unfortunately, it's a very cool day, uh, like in the upper 40s, uh, almost May, and it's raining. So, I'm going to walk out here. There's a little, nice little pond. On a nicer day, this would be really nice to come and just enjoy and sit out here. They got some tables. Um, right here, there's another set down there. But I'm getting rained on, so I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. There's a little walkway over the pond right there. And another little bench in a grassy area right there. There's Highway 321, of course. try to give you a view of the motel itself now. It's just one story. Um, looks like it starts down there at room 120 and goes down as you go to the right. I just stepped in a hole, so if you wonder why that was unsteady, that's why. Pond off limits, so I guess that means no fishing, no wading in it. Basically just look at it and enjoy it so I'm really impressed with this little place and this is just a 35 40 minute drive from our house at most So, I am just about 99.999% impressed with this place. The only thing, and there's not really room for it, but the only thing I notice they don't have is a little work table, like a little desk area, like a lot of motels have. Sometimes when I go back to the room at night, I set up the laptop and work on videos, but that's okay. We got a short drive home tomorrow, and I can work on the videos when I get home, but um, I don't know if I really want something like that taken away from the from the uh, rustic look of the place anyway but that would be kind of an awkward table to use there but yeah not a real good work area but other than that it is just like a good little place to relax wouldn't you yeah, say? Yeah I like it. So right here is the lobby area and I didn't get a chance to go over there last night so Shaughnessy said it was really nice so we're going to go in there and look around I'll show you a little bit of what the lobby looks like. Yeah, really nice. It's 
So we've got a really nice lobby area here with mini chairs. Fireplace, huge TV. So, I'm going to give another look at the pond now that it's not raining. Now, last night I showed you they have no fishing signs. I didn't figure there was even fish in there, in here, but there are. Because when I walked out of this little bridge, there was something lurking right there and he took off. And he seemed to be pretty decent size. So, the rain has moved out. It's still a cool morning here in Blowing Rock. But, beautiful little place here. Okay, folks, well, it is uh, time to check out here at the Village Inn uh, in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, located on Highway 321. Uh, we did come up for the night. Uh, we wanted to do a review at the Peddler last night. We got another review we're going to do this morning of one of the top scenic attractions in North Carolina, not far from here. So uh, we want to give you our thoughts of this place now. We've driven by this for years. I always said it looked like a cute little place to stay. Um, this we don't usually overnight in Blowing Rock because it's it's so easy to come up here and then go home. So close to home. Yeah, we've only overnighted in Boone or Blowing Rock maybe twice that I can think of. Um, so we usually just come up for a day or for a couple hours because we only live about 40 minutes away. So we did just decide because we had stuff to do last night up here and today to just go ahead and uh, try this place. We talked about it for years. So go ahead and uh, tell us what you thought of it. Well, like he was saying, we drove by it for years. I remember even as a little girl when we used to ride the parkway, looking at this place, because I always loved the little pond. And I just, it always stuck out to me that it was real cute and stuff like that. So when it, I was looking for somewhere to stay last night, this was actually the most reasonable, pet friendly place. Tell what it cost. Place. It was um, 136 I think. Yeah, so I had to go, you know, when you go, go through Google, then it gives you all those options. like their website hotels.com and there was something I don't know, it's something true Trivago and no what Trivago it was something else but I went through them but yeah so total everything 136 for last night um, looked at the reviews most of them were positive um, looked at the pictures looked very cute on the inside so when we checked in last night walked in it's like it smelled rustic charm you know I guess is how you would say it um, everything was clean. I didn't find any cleanliness issue. Um, the only thing I would say would be a negative is the space in the bathroom as far as getting ready. There's not a lot of, it's a pedestal sink, so you can't really put anything. I mean, they do have a shelf above it. Um, then by the bathtub, there's a shelf there that you can put your shampoo and stuff just because it's an old tub, which is another thing. You have to step up really high to get into it and to get out of it, so you got to be really careful. But as far as the looks, it was very charming, very rustic. Um, the grounds are very nice. Took a walk out there by the pond. They got several tables to sit out there, little bridges and stuff. It, I, had, I had a good night's sleep. I mean, I did wake up a couple times because I was hot or cold. <laughs> that was due to cold, me. Cold, cold. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the deal was there. But bed was pretty soft. It was quiet. Um, we'll say more about that temperature thing here in just a minute when it's my turn to talk. But you go get right ahead. <laughs> I had a little trouble regulating it before bed. <laughs> um, but overall, very pleasantly pleased with my stay here last night. So if I think of something else, I'll say it again at the end, but go ahead. Just interject it whenever. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how we do it. So, all right, you, would go you ahead. stay here again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think I would too. Like I say, this place has been here as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've lived in this area my whole life. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and get that temperature thing out of the way. I, we, I mean, we live together. I don't know what the deal was last night, but she wanted to be 102 in the room, and that's what it felt like at times. I, I don't know how you, anybody could have gotten cold. I, I even asked her, oh, sorry, you, do you have a fever? Are you coming down with something? Because it's like I'm laying there literally miserable. She's got the heat. That you've got to where it's blowing right on me. So the, the unit is actually on the other side of this wall. It's one of those things it's got a little remote control and it blows down on you well the vents were blowing over top of me and hitting him actually so, that's one time i said can i have the keys to the van i'm gonna go sleep in the van 
that I did because it was just, I don't know, she's usually not like that at home. I'm a little more hot natured last night, but good night. Uh, at no point was I anything resembling cold last <laughs> night. Um, well, I did move the vents down to where they would hit me, so when the heat come on, I'm like, okay, I'm too hot. Then when it cut off, I'd feel like this cold breeze, and I guess that's when I got kind of chilly. Yeah. So, anyway. But, yeah, my first impression of this place when I first walked in was uh, very positive. It, it, it had that good smell to it, like, like you would expect maybe if you were renting a cabin almost. Mm -hmm. Really liked that. It was, it was immaculate. Um, I just really liked the way it was set up. It was a smaller room. Uh, than maybe some we've stayed in before, but it was you call that quaint or cozy. I yeah, guess. for two people, it's um, perfect. Yeah, and I would I would agree that probably the only negative would be, and I was actually impressed with it when I saw it was the bathtub, the the old timey bathtub. Mm -hmm. It's a lot nicer to look at than it is to shower in, <laughs> and I mean, because I, I actually didn't foresee, but when she got out of the shower last night, she told me to be careful um, stepping in and out because it is it's much you have to step up a lot higher now. Yes. We didn't have trouble, but I could see where somebody, if you're not paying attention, could fall and hurt yourself. You could. If you're somebody with limited mobility, I think you'd have a real tough time. In fact, you you had hurt your back a few weeks ago, and you're you're better now. But I think you didn't you say that you probably would have had a yeah. lot of trouble last night stepping Lifting over that. Lifting my leg that high up. If we had been there a few weeks ago. Correct. And there's so. no handles either. You yeah, basically are holding true. on to the wall, so there's not a handle or anything yeah. to kind of steady yourself. It is. You do have to be careful. I mean, it is pretty to look at. It is. Well, it takes you back, but yeah. it's, it's a little, showering it's a little different. Yeah. And the other thing I'd say about that is it was, it's smaller than what, not just the bathroom, the tub itself. There's not a lot of room to move around that, that I'm accustomed to taking a shower. Mm -hmm. You basically, you got the curtains and the wall and the spigot and you ain't got a lot of move around space. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, that was a little difficult, but other than that, goodness it, for one night yeah great yeah. stay mm -hmm. well i mean even for a couple of nights yeah. come up here for a weekend i'd still recommend this place oh yeah highly. definitely just letting y'all know now you said they have handicapped rooms i'm gonna just go out on a limb and say the handicapped rooms are not equipped like that i would assume they, they have be. handicapped most couldn't places be. have to have that um yeah. you know accessibility and yeah they couldn't have a, a, yeah. a set up like that because even a person who has a bad back would have would have had trouble mm -hmm. uh the bed was I like a firm bed. This bed was, if you're looking for something soft, this bed's softer maybe than what I prefer. I think you kind of liked it. I like a uh, soft kind of firm, but it was a little softer. Too yeah, soft it, it was soft, but it, it wasn't noisy. We've been mm -hmm. someplace the bed just makes, it, it was not like that. It was no. just a natu naturally a soft bed. Yes. I love their TV. Uh, mm -hmm. The TV was, was a good size, a lot bigger than you see in most motels. And it uh, was a 4K TV, and it had a lot of the apps on there. It had, it had the YouTube app already on there. so. Uh, we put for a lot. We, we put a lot of videos that. in the history for people for the next guest to watch. Um, I won't tell you which channel that might have been, but uh, we put some videos up there because it, it shows like what people before us had watched. So, um, but yeah, I had a lot of the different TV apps that you could um, watch. So a, a lot there, uh, more than what we would have ever gotten to in one night. But yeah, Village Inn, Highway 321, Blowing Rock, really nice place. Um, yeah. It was, it's really good for an overnight getaway mm -hmm. and glad we stayed here. Me too. So if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. And have a blessed day.